What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DDOT Ford here. Today, me, I'm doing a collabo with the Black Scat Pack. As you can see, both of our cars there. We got a fun video today. Today, we are going to be installing the hot buttons on my 2016 Dodge Charger all-wheel drive. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have the taser. These hot buttons are going to be just quick access to get whatever I want to have these buttons do quickly start. For example, if I want to do a light show, I can just hit... Let's say I have it on aux 2. Hit aux 2, the light show kicks off. If I want to have it in all-wheel drive, just kick, click one button, all-wheel drive at all times. Um, so, different things that this thing can do. That's why I'm installing it. So first things first, I do want to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Um, that's that happened so quickly, so fast. So big ups to you guys. I will keep the content coming. So as you guys know, every hundred uh, subscribers, all the way to a thousand, we do that giveaway. So now that we hit that thousand subscribers, we got that big, big giveaway. Each video until I announce the winners, we will be revealing something that we will be part that will be part of the giveaway. And as you guys know, every time we've hit 100, we've always gave away jam handles. So this is no different. I have a stack of jam, hand jam handles here that will be part of the giveaway. And there will be more things part of that giveaway. So please, please stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We have the, the Go Mango charger here. First thing you wanna do is disconnect that battery. I have my boy, the Black Scat Pack doing that now. Once you get that disconnected, you wanna make sure that you leave that out for at least about 10 minutes before you start anything or anything else with that there because there's an ex-firefighter and i can tell you for a fact those airbags if you don't let that let all the energy from the battery or whatever just die out and drain out if you get up and start messing with the airbag it might explode in your face and that's gonna be a bad day for you and i don't think you want that and i don't want that for you all right so the first thing you want to do you see this little hole you may not be able to see it so let me go ahead and do this here i'm going to um switch camera so we can see all right all right so you see that little hole right there we need to get like a pin or something i'm just using a little small uh small allen wrench that i have here and getting that uh, inserted in there and once we get that in there we're looking for a little thing that we can just like almost like a push um thing that it releases the left side of the uh, horn cover there so I'm just gonna go back to switching my camera here see once you get one loose you can see that how that one side of the steering wheel is almost popping out but of course when it's come to working on cars and nothing goes as easy or as planned it's always uh it's always something so we'll get this uh other half off and from there it should be knock on wood easy and downhill from there but of an assist we got it we got it this is where you probably need that T15 at. Yeah, I think that back is a T15. So actually, after we get that cover off, we said T20 here for this bit. What that does is that covers, uh, I believe it takes out the uh, the silver cover there. And then there is a <clears throat> T15 in the back. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that, but that's where it's also going to be kind of hard to get back there and maneuver. And that right there actually takes out the, uh, the actual button, the whole housing, I believe, there. So, All right, guys. So if you're not subscribed to the Black Scat Pack channel, make sure you do so. Reason being is because this is his old steering wheel that he took out of his Challenger. And he swapped it out with the actual Hellcat steering wheel with the, fat, the, flat, bottom, the flat bottom steering wheel. So once we got the actual cover out, as you can see, this silver piece here, the little accessory piece... That is a T20 bit there that you're going to take that out to kind of loosen it. Then you want to go in the back here. 
Now his, uh, as you can see here, he doesn't have the paddle shifters. So you want to take out this little housing. There's going to be a T15 bit that you're going to take that out to get the paddle shifter off on my steering wheel. And then once you take this off, I'm not too sure he has this screwed in, so I'm not even worry about it. Then there's going to be, I believe, another bit that you have to take out to get the actual housing out, which is going to be this one here, but you're not going to get it from the front. You're going to actually get it from the back there. Once you're able to get that, then you're able to take... Uh, this accessory out along with the housing and get everything swapped out so. all right as you see with everything taken off the back be simple well simple but still have a few more screws you got to take out mainly these two still using that same t15 hex As he's doing that, obviously what we're going to do is put the cover back on, put the uh, two screws back in from the back, then we're going to secure it back into place, secure it, uh, the silver accessory that we had talked about, secure the button housing, go from the back, secure the, um, the actual housing from the back, then secure the paddle shifters, and then get the uh, steering wheel popped back into place. Um, for the most part, that is fairly easy uh, when it comes to popping the steering wheel back in place, but I will show you guys, because I know the black scat pack said that he had did one before where it was a little challenging, so I want to make sure that you guys kind of see that, and hopefully watching it here can make it fairly easy for you in the future. All right. All right. We got everything secured. Pop a cover back on, because I went back and retightened everything to make sure it didn't really move, because I don't like having stuff just loose. Yep, got the cover back on. Now, which might be the hard part. Well, I know with my boy Mike, when I did his steering wheel, the airbag didn't want to go back on there just right. Well, this one did right the first time. Easy peasy. So now we're gonna reconnect the battery. Now that I got uh, GoPro mounted so you guys can see my actual screen up here. Um, so we're going to put the vehicle in uh, in run. So now it's in run there. So the two buttons we're going to really kind of focus on. To really go through the taser uh, menu, you want to hit that, uh, that far left button and then toggle through with the cancel. But just for programming, I'm going to hold down on this button here and I'm gonna hit each auxiliary button to kind of let me know wh where I'm at. All right, so now that we have everything set up, um, as you guys know on the steering wheel, you have the left side, on the left side of the steering wheel, you have the, the arrows. We're gonna hit the far left arrow, and then we're gonna hit the aux button. So we're gonna hold in the far left arrow, and then we're gonna hit the aux button. Right now it shows no function for the first one. So I'm just gonna toggle through all the light shows and all the different modes that I can have, and I'm gonna put this one into force real wheel drive. We can just get to it there, line lock, custom kill, launch mode, custom drive, sport drive, track drive, and I think, boom, force wheel wheel drive. You completely let go of everything. Now that first aux button is going to be in force wheel wheel drive. Now we're going to do the second um, aux button. This one, um, I think for now I'm just going to put it in uh, line lock. Um, probably once the you know once the summer hits or maybe once uh, start putting this bad boy on the track I think I'm gonna switch this one to cool down but the same thing hit the far left button hit aux 2 and just keep going through until we get to line lock I'm not too sure what just passed it I don't think I did though but going through all the six different light shows and then with the new update you can actually custom 
uh, customize the light show. It's so auxiliary line lock there. So completely let go of everything. Boom. So now aux two is in line lock. And then for aux three, just for um, just for the time being, just for the video sake, I'm gonna put this one into a um, into a light show. So same thing, left button, hit the aux three button. We're gonna just go to light show number four. Let go of everything. Boom. Now that's one is completely in in the um in the in the light show so now if i want to turn the vehicle on and hit the aux 3 button it will be in the light show and just for the heck of it let's go ahead and do that all right so now we're going to completely turn the car on the car starts on and if i want i'm just going to hit the aux 3 button as you guys can see on my dash lights are coming on have a camera up the front too so you guys can see that also and if i want to turn it off click it just press aux 3 boom and it turns it off so as you can see lights show off pretty 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 easy all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button again we have a bunch of new content coming out and again i cannot thank you guys enough for hitting that 1000 subscriber mark and i know we're just going to keep growing so be on the lookout for the new and um the new products that will be part of this giveaway here um again for this uh video here I, I really didn't go too far into details on how to do the install but i do want to shout out workplay drive if you don't know his channel make sure you go hit his channel up he goes into complete detail on how to do the install um everything you need to know the ins and outs about the taser about the hot buttons um about future products that uh z automotive has coming out so make sure you hit their uh hit hit a uh, workplay drives page up and uh hope you guys stay tuned for the next video all right we out